All right, so back with more on how to use the WMX1 with uplights, uh, specifically creating a preset. So let's go into that. So we already have our fixture set up. I'm gonna make sure the color effects are off. Now we're gonna go create a specific uh, preset. So I'm gonna go to live edit here, and I'm gonna create, so basically it's all blank. That's what this is showing. We have no presets on right now. So I'm gonna pick this top first one. Doesn't matter which one exactly. Pick that one. And specifically, I want to control these uplights over here, which is our booth RF4s. All right, and I'm going to click it, and I'm going to hit edit. So now I'm editing the dimmer through red, green, blue, white, amber, UV, etc. shutter. The way I like to run them is I want to pick a specific color, but I want the dimmer to be controlled separately. So instead of changing the value of my dimmer, which you can see does affect the light, I'm going to hit reset. So that means this little dash mark means I'm not affecting the dimmer at all. I do, however, want to affect the red. So I'm gonna just clear out all my colors here, right? And so I want my overrides to work. We said in the last video how we can have our uh, dimmer up and our shutter to be a specific value so that these overrides don't work. Well, we want our overrides to work. So make sure that your shutter and your dimmer are not being controlled by this one preset make sure they have the dash in there again the way you would change that if you have a number there you can hit selected and hit reset so let's go ahead and make a very specific color here so we're going to pull up the red we're going to make uh we're going to make a candlelight again so we want to pull the amber up okay maybe a little less red let's pull up a little bit of the greens all right and just a touch of blue maybe a little less blue and we'll make that red a little more, pull up green. Okay, so this is the color I've chosen. White is all the way down, 255 is up, UV's all the way down, blue's at three, green's at 52, and red's at 252. These are just arbitrary colors. In order to save it, I'm gonna hit this button, the button that's flashing. If I didn't want to save it, I could click any other button on the B-pad, and it would not save, but I wanna save it, so I'm gonna click here, all right? And it says edit one, that's our color. And you can see here, as we click this button, the uplight is changing from whatever other color it was set to. So I do wanna go ahead and hit shift click, again, shift click, and I wanna rename this one, and I wanna say this is candlelight. Candlelight, hit enter and then hit save. So there's my candlelight. Every time I click this button, the lights will go to candlelight, even if we're on an effect, all right? We're on an effect right here. It's jumping through a whole bunch of stuff, right? I wanna go to live edit, I'm gonna hit candlelight. It's gonna override everything else. But here's what it won't do. If I hit blackout, my lights still black out because we didn't change the dimmer value. If I hit strobe, they can still strobe because we didn't change the shutter value. We only change the color values, not the dimmer and not the shutter. So all of our overrides still work. Notice that when we hit the chaos button, that doesn't work. Why? Because chaos also controls the color. It normally adds white to your mix, but we overrided all the colors. So our chaos button won't change the color. So that is how you can use your presets, which I use all the time, especially for movers and colors and things like that. That's it. Hopefully that helps. And uh, that's how you use presets.